gang, Tailboom Terry here. Today we're going to be explaining a little bit between a 3, a 4, and a 6 channel RC heli. Also, we'll get into different size helis, uh, the big ones and the small ones. And we'll get into a little bit of the radios on each heli. And out of this, you can make a decision which is the best heli for you. First of all, we'll start with the three channel coax heli. The coax basically means, coaxial means two blades. And how this heli works, it's a three channel. When it goes to turn, the tail does not turn it. You can see the blade is this way. What happens is these rotating blades, one will slow down, turn it this way, or the other one will slow down and turn it this way. This little blade in the back actually picks it up and helps it move forward. It does fly, and it flies okay. It's really not uh, very maneuverable compared to the four channel. Well, you only got three channels here, so you're limited in exactly what you can do with this helicopter. Every time you add a channel, you get to do more stuff. And I know there's some 3.5 out there, and a the .5 may turn on lights on the heli, and that's about it. It doesn't really do any kind of movement for the heli. It may turn on lights or drop something from it of that sort. The radio to this heli is an infrared radio which can only be used inside and as you can see the radio is pretty basic and almost feels like a toy if you use it outside the sunlight will interfere with it you cannot fly this heli outside in the sun this has to be flown inside it does okay but it doesn't it doesn't bank when it flies it turns flat and it, when, it, when it goes forward, it kind of lifts the tail. And it's, it's a little sluggish to maneuver. It's a very basic beginner heli. heli. If you want something for your kids, um, I would say 10, 12 on down, this will be the perfect heli to fly inside. This helicopter and this radio was like $17. It's very cheap. The battery is inside the radio, you charge it. When you're done flying, you have to recharge it for another 40 minutes. You have to wait. You cannot fly it right away. It's not a removable battery. That's another big downfall. So a three-channel heli is a basic helicopter. It's a beginner's helicopter. It's one you want to get for your younger kids. And if you older guys want something to just mess around with in the house, that's fine too. Um, it'll get you through the winter flying a little bit inside, but the downfall is you can't fly it outside, it's not very maneuverable, and it doesn't have a removable battery, and that, that's a big issue. So let's move on to four channel helis, and that's a big difference. Here is uh, a four channel heli. This helicopter is a V911 version 2 Pro. It is very easy to fly. It's a lot of fun to fly. And the radio goes with that is this one. You can see it's a little bit more professional. You can fly this one outside. It's a 2.4 megahertz. You can fly it outside. You can fly it inside. It has no uh, interference. The radio binds what they call binds with the heli. And this, this heli being four channel It'll go forward, backwards, it'll turn this way, but it also leans and it turns. So what happens is you can pick up a lot of speed in the turns, and it feels more like a real helicopter when you, when you can do that banking in the turns. Whereas the coaxial, you cannot do that. It's just flat turning. This one being four channels, the extra channel is leaning. And uh, it picks up a lot of speed, Parts are easily available, and this is uh, one of the best, if not the best, beginner helicopter. This can be flown inside. Uh, it needs a little bit more of an area than the coaxial. It's a little bit faster, but uh, a lot of guys do fly it inside. I fly it outside all the time. Um, I do very little flying inside. Also, if you notice, the tail 
is this way, not this way, the rotor blades. And that's because it has true steering. The tail actually steers it. And when you go to pick up uh, speed on it, it has a swash plate where the coaxial, has, the coaxial does not have a swash plate on it. This has what they call a swash plate and the blades will tilt forward and it really picks up speed very, very quickly. And it'll slow down quickly and bank. It just feels much more like a real heli. Um, the downfall of this helicopter, there really isn't much of a downfall. It is a very good all-around helicopter for a four channel. So it's size-wise, it's called a micro. But I would advise you if you wanted to start flying outside, maybe a little bit inside, buy this heli. It's a four channel heli. And you'll get used to it real quick. The radio is is very good with it. No interference. So if we move on to a six channel heli. This is a Genius CP, this is a six channel heli, and um, now we go with this radio, and you can see there's a lot more switches and a lot more stuff on this radio. This helicopter is almost, uh, I call a stun helicopter. The blades, being at six channel, they'll pitch opposite directions, so this can be flown upside down. The blades will pitch down. And as a full throttle, a spin up throttle where the blades go full bore, it'll do all kind of stuff. It'll do TikToks and upside down and this way. It's just a very, very aggressive stunt helicopter. The, it is a 2.4 radio that can be flown outside. It can be flown inside, but it takes up a little bit more room. Um, six channels are more difficult to fly, way more difficult than four channels. And to get a six channel heli, I would say you better be flying four channels for, for a good while because on a, on a six channel, you have to do everything. The helicopter really doesn't do much for you. You do it. It's like flying a real helicopter. I mean, it does everything. Banks, you know, this it just does everything. Everything you can think of, this thing will do. But you have to make it do it. Therefore, you have a much more... Uh, in-depth radio with the switches and the knobs and a lot more to do. These are a lot harder to repair, a lot more costly. Um, I would advise everybody to start off with a four channel if you're just starting off or a three channel. Now, as far as sizes, as you can see, I've got some small ones here. These are more or less called micros. And uh, this is a three channel, this is a four, this is a six, of course. And this size heli is called a 200 size. This is actually a four channel. It has a fly bar on it. And uh, it will not fly inverted. Four channels will not fly inverted. You cannot do that with four channel. And then this is what they call a 400 size heli. And this helicopter is a four channel. It will not fly inverted either. But that's the difference in sizes. 400 is like really, really big. 200 is in between and then you can go down. I don't have any 100 size helis but these are called micros and uh, for beginners these are absolutely the best. This helicopter I think was around $40, $45 and is great to start on. Absolutely terrific. So once again let's just go summarize and just go over a few things. If you're just starting out you want a 3 channel or 4 channel heli. That is your best bet to go that route and get a bunch of hours under your belt flying get used to it you know I mean a lot of hours then you can switch to a six channel and see how you like it once you get used to these small ones you start getting these bigger ones um, they take the wind a lot better these micros will not fly in the wind at all you cannot any wind whatsoever is a real problem these will take the wind a lot better but you still gotta have some experience on your belt uh, to fly these outside in the wind. So as you go up, get a little bit of flight time on with these three channels and uh, four channels, you can go to your six channel and then your radios get a lot, lot more involved. And things get a lot more expensive too. Forgot to add that much. But it's all fun, it's all in sport of the hobby. Um, I started off with something very, very little, like little air hogs from Walmart, 
flew that for a little bit. Um, that could only fly it inside. It didn't do hardly anything. It was very, very hard to fly. But these are a little bit easier. This four channel is very easy. So if you have any questions, certainly uh, get a hold of me uh, right here on uh, YouTube or uh, Facebook. Um, happy flying, everybody, and I hope this answers some questions. I want to thank everybody for tuning in and I hope this video helps you determine the difference between a three, four, and six channel, plus the sizes of the helis, the big and the small, and the transmitter. Just a little information for everybody that's interested in getting a new heli or first time people with the new helis. So stay tuned, I'll have other videos coming in the future, and if you can, subscribe to my channel. Um, I enjoy making videos, and I really appreciate you watching my videos. So fly hard, brother.